Okay, are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I am so excited for today's video because I feel like 2012 version of me would be so happy to be filming this video and I'll tell you why. We are going to be discussing my current favorite natural hair products. Now, a little backstory. I think I say this in a lot of my videos. I have been on YouTube as a content creator like since 2012. I have been a part of this community for a long time. It is the big reason why I ended up going natural in the first place. I watched tons of videos like back back in the day before YouTube was ever a real career for people and I think the natural hair community honestly really got its big bang through YouTubers. In my content creation journey really began doing natural hair videos. I remember being in my mom's house like <laughs> in my room with my braces like talking about hair products like I knew what I was talking about and I was learning I was growing and I just was so excited to be a part of this community I will never leave the community but I don't really make natural hair videos anymore let me know if you guys care or want to see more natural hair videos from me the social media community is so crazy how it is now I try to like have more of a specific niche so that more people can have access to these videos but I still want to do what I love you know you guys let me know what you guys want to see and we'll go from there but today I am going to talk about currently what's in my product stash my current favorites I am more of a heat trained natural I have very coarse dense hair I have a lot of hair on my head, but the strands are very thin. My hair is typically very dry. So if your hair is similar to that, this video might be really helpful for you. Or if you just like, you know, want to have a little nostalgia moment and go over some natural hair products. <laughs> I got you. Oh, that's what I also want to say. Currently, I have these old box braids in my hair right now. They are cut and unraveling like I want them to because I'm taking them out tomorrow. And I didn't want to come here with my hair looking too, too crazy. So we're just rocking this free boho style today. Okay, let's get into the hair products. The first thing I usually put on my hair is going to be a hair treatment of some sort. I haven't done this in years, but I used to do like hot oil treatments. Oh my gosh, we had so many phases, like the rice water phase, like, oh my gosh. Anyways, the first thing I put on my hair when I'm about to start wash day is the Olaplex. So this is Olaplex number three. And this is one of my favorite hair products. This is one of my favorite lines. Olaplex works really well for me. Actually, in my personal life, I haven't heard anyone that doesn't like it. I looked it up and I guess there was some sort of, I don't know if it was a scandal. Some people were like trying to sue Olaplex. I'm not even gonna give them that type of press because to be honest with you, I love this. I love this brand, I love this line, I love the products in the line, and you will see them a lot throughout this video. I use the number three, it's the first thing I put on my hair, and I let it sit for 20 or 30 minutes. It feels really good. I do this every time I personally wash my hair. That is another thing I wanna just mention really quick now. I am more of a hair salon client now. I don't really do my hair at home. I am more into protective styles 90% of the year. It's been growing my hair. I've been able to leave my hair alone. I have finally found after all of these years a way that I can take care of my hair keep it protected, keep it healthy and growing while still also looking good. I can share more about that maybe in another video, but today I don't wanna to get too distracted and just get into the products. So as I said, I do always use this when I personally wash my hair, which is once every few months, I will wash my own hair thoroughly when it's completely out. And this is the first thing I use. It is one of my favorite products. Moving on to shampoos. I have a couple here and let's just go through them. So let's talk about the Olaplex. I have the 4C, which is the clarifying shampoo. There is a number four that comes in a white package and it's the standard shampoo. I've never tried that. This, oh, 
it's clarifying. This is one of the most clarifying shampoos I have ever used. Like, stripped. Okay? So, keep that in mind. This is a very stripping shampoo. So, I do typically use this. Only when my hair is extremely dirty, like tomorrow when I take these out, I am going to use this because I haven't been able to really get a deep cleanse. Uh, that's also something I will say. I am someone who works out consistently. My hair sweats a lot. So I do use this clarifying conditioner whenever I feel like it is needed. If my hair is really filthy, if I see dandruff, if there's any weird smells in my hair, when I take my braids down from protective styling, I only use this a maximum of two times in the shower. I will never wash my hair three times with this. So just know that. If I'm feeling a little bit more on the drier side, I love to go in with a moisturizing shampoo. My favorite is this function of beauty. I hope it's focusing for you guys. So this is the Function of Beauty Pro. This is for coily hair. This is a recovery shampoo. There's no parabens, no sulfates. This is like a vegan product through and through. I love this if I am into like a really natural shampoo. I don't want to put too much in my hair. I want it to be moisturized. This is a really moisturizing shampoo and it still cleans my hair. So I really love that. I'm looking forward to trying more products in this line. Yeah, because this is the only product I've ever used from this line, so. Another shampoo that I really do enjoy, especially because I am more on the heat train side now, I love this Chi. This is the Infra shampoo. I hope you can see that. Now, I love this collection. I keep the small travel sizes because I've had this for years and I mean, this shampoo is like right here. So I would never get through a big one. I use this on the occasion that I am washing my hair at home and it is like dead of summer. It's super hot outside. My hair feels fried or dry, which thank God has not felt like that in a long time. <laughs> but I do sometimes alternate this into my rotation. It depends on how I feel. I do like to use the same line of a product for wash day if I can. So for example, with my Olaplex collection, I have the whole collection for the most part. Function of Beauty, this is something I don't have anything else of except the shampoo, but I will still use it. It just really depends on how I feel, but if I can, I try to stick with the same line, if that makes any sense. This brand, this line is in my rotation, depending on if it's extremely hot, I want more of a UV protection type of hair product from start to finish in my wash day. If I'm going to do my own silk press, which I am learning how to do, so eventually when I get to that place, I may probably use this more often. Yeah, I really like that shampoo. And it does have sulfate, so it really does clean my hair, and I think it just kind of adds a little bit more protection for the heat. Those are my shampoos that I have been loving lately. Moving on to deep conditioners. Now, as you can see, I have opted out of the conditioner category in my experience over the years. When I tell you guys I have done every single phase and thing that people have talked about as far as natural hair for the most part, I find conditioner after shampoo a waste of my time and I'll tell you why deep conditioning one I think that we're just so blessed to be in a community that has become so mainstream that there are companies and products that really contribute to the health of black hair yeah I don't feel like I'm missing anything from a rinse out conditioner when I can just go right in with a deep conditioner after I shampoo the only deep conditioner I have in my stash. People really do not talk about this product, but it is great. It doesn't cost much if you are in a bind and you just like need to get a good deep conditioner to have at home. I love this. This is the Do Grow. It's the Mega Thick Intense Repair Deep Conditioner. <sighs> this smells really good. It I don't know. It just smells like my childhood. This is a great conditioner. I get this from any beauty supply store. 
This was $10. It's a deep treatment. It helps rebuild with aloe vera, protein, shea oil, promotes thick, strong, healthy hair. It helps reduce breakage, allowing hair to grow longer. Now, no one really talks about the Dugro brand. I feel like this is an old school brand. As I said, I do go to the salon more to get my hair treated and maintained and they use their own con deep conditioner and I go to the same stylist who does use the same products or uses what she sees fit for my hair at that time. I do think she uses Joyco products. I think she uses Olaplex products. She has like, you know, her salon products. I think she uses Mazzani. I think, I don't know. And I think there's like other brands that I don't even know that she uses, but I do typically get my deep conditions when I get my silk presses from my stylist. But if I am ever in a bind, if I am having a moment where I'm not going to the hairdresser or she's booked up and I have to wait a month, if I have to do my own hair, I will use this deep conditioner. It is really moisturizing. I think it gets the job done. I keep this in my hair for 30 minutes and it's like as if I kept it in for an hour. I'm also not super picky with deep conditioners. I feel like deep conditioners, not that they're all one in the same, I'm sure good conditioners differentiate from bad ones. But what I will say is you can't go wrong with like any of the ones that you hear people talking about. I'm gonna leave some of my other favorites right here. They're not currently in my stash right now, but these are some that I have used and that I love and would recommend to anyone. I also wanna try the Melanin deep conditioner. I hear a lot of great things about that. I also love the Moroccan oil brand. Their deep conditioner is a good one. Camille Rose, I mean, get a deep conditioner and live your life, okay? That's it for deep conditioners for me. So moving on to leave-in conditioners. Let's go in order of my previous collection of shampoos. Let's start with the Olaplex number six. Now, as I said, I love this collection. The Olaplex number six, what I love about it is you do not have to use a lot of product. One tip that I do have, if you have very fine hair or fra more fragile hair, you don't need to be like every YouTuber who piles a bunch of product in their hair. I learned the hard way that that just isn't the way for a thin haired natural. I've used this like five times and I may be right here, maybe right here on this bottle. So the sizes of Olaplex works for me because it keeps me, what's that word? Not disciplined. I don't know, whatever. It keeps me in check in ways. It keeps me with the understanding that I don't need to use a lot of this product. So I use maybe one or two pumps throughout my entire hair. I don't divide my hair at this point when it is completely washed out from the deep conditioner. I take two pumps and just kind of put it through my entire hair. Like I said, maybe I will do a wash day if I can figure out how to film in the shower. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I am in love with the leave-in conditioner. It makes me just feel like I'm putting great things in my hair. I know the Olaplex line and the Olaplex system works for me. It keeps my hair feeling like strong, but I also feel like it stays moisturized. I think that for me, what I love about Olaplex, it really clearly makes a difference in my length retention. And that is why I just stick with it. I don't know why it does it. I don't know how it does it but it does it. So that works for me. Next, let's talk about the Chi Silk Infusion. As I said, I have these in um, travel sizes, so they're great. Also, they're great for travel size in case I do travel and wanna wash my hair. So I first heard about Chi Silk Infusion. It was really raved about on the YouTube community for girls that were straightening their own hair. And I really like it. I don't need to use a lot of it. It is a very like serum-like texture. It's a thicker serum. And as I said, this is great for like a heat protectant. I feel like this is great to use before you blow dry your hair. I don't need to use a lot of it. It still keeps my hair moisturized. Sometimes I'll put a spray leave-in or light leave-in. Maybe if I did put some of the Olaplex and then I'll follow it up with some of this just to have more of a moisture barrier in between the silk infusion. But this does act as a leave-in conditioner and heat protectant and I think it's great. So I love the Chi Infra system. 
Is it the infra system? I don't even know what they call it, but I love the cheese system. So the last leave-in that I'll mention, it's currently in my stash, and I do love this. This is an its own single product. I don't have anything else that matches it from its collection, but it is the Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. It's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. I love this leave-in conditioner. I love the clay smell that it has. It used to smell like more like clay. Now I feel like it smells less like clay and it's all right. I love the smell of it. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I'm someone who loves it. This is really moisturizing. Back when I really didn't like straighten my hair, I still used this. Now that I straighten my hair, it can sometimes be heavy. Like when I'm in the midst of my silk presses, I don't use it. For example, like I've had these box braids in, I will sometimes put a little bit on my hand, mix it with some water and just kind of put it through and moisturize my braids. I will say, don't use this when you freshly put in a protective style, especially with braids because I don't want the product to build up around the root of the braid. I use this when I'm like toward the end of my protective style. So if I know I'm gonna take my hair out in a week or two, then I'll start moisturizing with this. It is thicker, but it is moisturizing. If my hair is out and it's in its curly state, I do use this leave-in. If I just need to quickly moisturize my hair, I have my hair in either box braids, usually silk presses or a sew-in. Those are pretty much the hairstyles that I fluctuate through. At least until my hair gets long enough where I can put it in like buns and ponytails, which it is almost there. This is my third bottle of this. I, I used to use this much more when I was full-time curly natural. Now I don't use it as often because it is a little bit heavier, but it is really moisturizing. And if I use a little bit on occasion, it works wonders on my hair. Let's go on to serums. So this is quick because I really don't have many. I have the Olaplex number no. nine. This is a serum. This is a sample of it. I don't think this is a full size. Yeah, no, this is no full size. Yeah, this is the Bomb Protecting Nourishing Hair Serum. I put this on usually after the leave-in. I put this on before I'm about to blow dry or put on any heat protectant or anything like that. This is a great serum. Of the other Olaplex products, I see them working. I feel them working. This is just something that I have. I don't really like notice a difference with or without it, but I have it. And of course, if I'm using Olaplex, I just throw that into the system. I also love this Design Essentials. This is the Platinum Thermal Protectant Spray. And I really love this. It's weightless. This is something I use before I go in with a flat iron on my hair. This is when I am self-straightening. It isn't super thick, but it isn't super thin. I love that. It's lightweight, so I don't feel like it's weighing my hair down, which is, of course, very good for a fine natural. It, it makes my flat iron glide through my hair a little bit easier. It is protecting my hair. I never have had heat damage, you know, and I don't have to put a lot on my hair either. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It's just an all-around great thermal protectant serum. There's a couple other Design Essential products I want to try. I think there's, like, a purple spray, like a... I don't know what it even is, but I thought about trying that before. But for now, I just have this and I like it. Second to last, but not least, let's talk about oils real quick. So I don't have many oils in my stash. Like I said, you guys, I used to be someone who had a ton of products and I used to love buying products. And not that I don't go past that target aisle and look, because I do love seeing what's out and seeing what I want to try. But I think over the years, I've really been able to streamline what I like, what works for my hair, what is cost effective, you know, or at least if it's going to be more on the pricey side, is it worth it for me? What was my point of saying that? I think my point was just that I don't have a lot of products now, but what I do have, I know works for me. And that's why I'm sharing it here because these are not only what's in my rotation, but what are my favorite products. As far as hair oils, now for me, typically an oil is an oil is an oil. And like I said, I think that with the natural hair community being what it is, we have been blessed now with so many products that do just work well. I'm currently using the Myel Organics. This is the Rosemary Mint Hair 
dropper. So this is the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. It smells really good. I've been using this in between my box braid sections. I really like it. So I usually use this for my protective styles. I put this in between my box braids. When I have sew-ins in, I put this in between the tracks and massage my hair every few days. It's really good. It is on the thicker side of an oil, so I try to use it sparingly, but it does feel really good on my scalp. And if it is dry, I will go in with something like that. I also love, I've shown you this already, this Moroccan oil hair treatment. I have a ton of these guys hanging around. I have sample sizes. I want to one day get the full size. But honestly, like this lasts me so long. You don't need a lot. It's very thin. It smells good. I feel rich when I wear it. I usually put this on top of my silk presses or my straightened hair, you know, every few days to kind of just moisturize it and give it something sort of treatment, some sort of protection without weighing it down. So I really love this oil. I love, love, love that oil. I want to try some of their body care. I see that they have body care on Sephora online. And I went to the Times Square Sephora and I saw that they had body care. I was so tempted. But the hair oil is where it's at. Yeah, this ain't going nowhere. And for the most part, those are my hair oils. Let's just talk really quickly about some miscellaneous tools and things like that. So I first want to talk about the gym wrap. I do own this because I am a workout girl. I sweat a lot. If I'm being completely honest with you, though, this does not really do much. I, it doesn't. I, I mean, maybe it's just the one that I got. It's super thin. I do put this on this way. When I have a silk press, when I have box braids, I really don't wear hair wraps or anything like that because the braids really absorb the sweat, to be honest. When I have my sew-ins or when my hair is straightened around the edges, I do utilize this. I hear you're supposed to like put it on super tight so that it fits, but then my head hurts. It's a whole thing. Maybe I just need to try like a different size. Maybe I need to try a full head one. I don't know, but it's all right. I have it. I'm a gym girly. I'm a black girl gym girl. So I got the gym wrap. I also enjoy these particular tools. I love me my wide tooth comb. As you can see, this is a wide tooth comb. I used to not know what a wide tooth comb was like. I didn't understand what people meant by that for a really long time. Anyways, I got one. This is great for Afro textured hair, kinky textured hair, really coily hair. I use this more outside of the shower when I'm detangling and putting in my leave-in and my oils and things like that. But I really love this. I have one with the bubbles at the bottom as well. And that one I use more in the shower. This one I use more out of the shower. Honestly, out of all the tools that I have, this is the most used tool. I love this. This is a Conair, but the name got stripped off. I've used this for a long time. I don't know what it is about this brush. I just love it so much. It is perfect for my hair texture, my hair thickness, my hair density. This is a great detangler. I honestly use this more than I use a wide tooth comb. It just kind of breezes through my hair. I also do love this, which I don't know if, I don't know if Sephora even sells this anymore, but this is the Tangle Teaser, the Thick and Curly. Now this is different than the regular Tangle Teaser. It does still have the handheld, but there's something different about this versus the other Tangle Teasers. This was an online only thick and curly tangle teaser and it just, it just works. It gets through your hair. I have used this on wet and dry hair. It is a great detangler. I love it. I don't really love using it in the shower, but I can like use it when I turn the water off because then it like slips out of my hand sometimes. For the most part, this gets through. This gets through thick, coarse, tangly hair. So. I don't mind this. And lastly, this is a new tool to my collection, but I love this thing. I got this on Amazon. This 
like is a head scratcher. I really got this because this is what my hairstylist used to wash my my tracks and my sew-in. She like washed my hair with this and I'm telling you this gets the itches that you can't scratch. I love this thing. I love this thing. It's not going nowhere. This is amazing. And I also feel like it kind of massages the scalp too. So if you don't have this already and you do protective style your hair a lot or you wear like tracks and hair on your head that you cannot just like take out and put in, try this and let me know what you think. Because this... Okay, so that is all of my hair care products, my current favorites, my current stash. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know by liking the video and commenting down below. What are some of your favorite products? What are some products I should try? How do you feel about the natural hair content? Let me know. All right, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.